Hello, Leo Aditi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. Welcome back. Um, this is going to be a general reading for March 2021. Uh, just bear in mind that time in, no, 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 spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. So the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You dig what I'm saying? Also, this is a general read, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Take what resonates and leave what does not. So we're going to try a new spread today. We're going to do overall messages here, the overall energy here, some clarifier here, and then I will go and pull some more cards on the fly after we have looked at and discussed what spirit has here. Uh, bear in mind that I do not read reversals, so if you see me turning cards over, that's why. All right, so let's get started. Mm. All right, Leo, what do you need to release? What do you need to release? The waning moon. Okay. Five of pentacles, two of swords, strength, king of wands, Hermit and Empress, Queen of Wands, High Priestess, Two of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and the Star. You got a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, so <laughs> first word that comes, first phrase that comes to mind is choose joy. Okay. You really take care that when you are taking stock, that you are taking stock of what you do have as opposed to what you don't have. One of the things that stands out to me with this particular card is that notice that the eyes are on the soles of the feet. Meaning that when you are standing upright, like when, if it actually walks on its feet, it's only going to be able to see the next step ahead, right? And in order to fully grasp what is before it, It has to take it has to take a reclining position in order to do so in order for it to see out it has to literally sit down I'm hearing workaholic I'm hearing one-track mind I'm hearing a focused man And yes, focus is a good thing, right? But too much of anything can be can be an issue. And then we have right next to that the two of swords. So choosing what to look at, you can choose to look at what it is that you are lacking, or you can look at what it is that you have in abundance. The choice is the choice is yours how you want to go about that now with the strength card this is we say it all the time it's not about the brute strength okay this is about balance this is about alchemy this is about grace this is about finding the happy medium between active active work and passive work potential versus kinetic energy right because you have yes in order for 
in order for them to reach into the mouth of the lion, you have to have no fear. There must be zero fear, right? But there's the, the calm that is required in order to reach one's hand into the mouth of a lion because animals can sense fear they can sense anxiety and will react to that so it's not enough to put on a good face or put on a game face and go about this task like one must really be and that's one must really be in that place of zen in order to successfully put their hands into the lion's mouth and that's what this strength is that's what the strength card talks about it's not about faking it till you make it it's about knowing and knowing and knowing that you know and then acting upon that right and then we have the king of wands here and knowing that there is power in you you know with the king of wands this this is this is your element you know you you know this is this is your bag man you you know what you are capable of and you also know that that capability misdirected could be an issue and could lead to lack so you go within to fine tune your capabilities and also co-create with spirit to be able to actively manifest these things that will give you unbridled joy and then on top of that not just to like co-create with spirit in the mind but in the body make it happen make it so right and you have this divine energy right here you've got the empress you've got the queen of wands and then you've got the high priestess here so you have the ancient knowledge you have the backing of spirit and then you have the internal fire required to be able to bring this new beginning to be to a want this new beginning new beginning okay now i mean yeah we can talk about you know king of wands he's got he's got love to give and the queen of wands she's got love to receive you give some love you get some love you wind up with some some offspring so there if you are if you are a child bearing age this could very well mean that a pregnancy is either here or is going to be here but if you're not this could also mean pregnant with ideas pregnant with creativity pregnant with with new ways to be able to shape and form your existence to the way that you want it to be because what you're going for here is long-term stability with that ten of coins you are talking about generational wealth you want this little guy to be completely taken care of and with this ace of wands here it's like yeah yeah that's the truth you are going through you are going through in healing all of those things that have gotten in your way all of those things that would have old you old you would have had you freaking out got your arm bit off or worse right but you've got this this healing energy to aid you in what it is you need to let go of okay Let's 
by the star card. What does Leo need to know in regards to the star card? What does Leo need to know in regards to the star card? What does Leo need to know in regards to the star card? Make it plain. Make it plain. Make it clear and make it okay. Wheel of Fortune. All right. That's ooh, that's a that's fun. Make it clear and make it plain. What about the Wheel of Fortune? Does Leo need to know as it pertains to the star card? Queen of Wands is back. So you've got the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Wands again. There's truth in action. There's truth in action and this burden that you have been carrying. This burden. This burden that you've been carrying. You're about to have some clarity as to why this went on as long as it did. And it's going to propel you into, into a space of, dare I say, self-indulgence. Have you been giving to too many? Have you been giving to the point of depletion? Hmm. Yeah, the... Direction. The star again. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So you okay. So with this wheel of fortune is gonna come this faded year. You've got victory here, you've got renewal here, you have healing here, and you have hard work being recognized. What do you need to release? Release the lack mentality which is a burden to you. Choose to, you can choose to do that. Because you've been so focused, you've been so focused on what you don't have. You can now, once you gain this clarity, yep, there it is. Once you gain this clarity, you, and once you start investing in yourself and in indulging in actual self care, you're going to wind up ushering victory in giving yourself a renewed sense of either purpose or something that you thought was dead and gone is on its way back. It's going to provide healing and it is something that you, whether you realize it or not, have been working on for quite some time. Also, I'm hearing that release is hard work as well. So 
because there's also that. All right, Leo. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye, Leo.